right to answer it, okay? Uh, as uh, Nora said just a minute ago, the most difficult six minutes and 40 seconds of my life. Coming up now. So, 20 things I think I've learned from my 20 month old uh, daughter. First of all, I do not need a jacket for that because she will definitely spit, vomit and uh, do all sorts of things to me. My tie has been an eyesore for quite a few people and I am not going to wear it anymore. This is what you are going to have to survive today if this video starts. It's uh, from Family Guy. It's a scene where a proud father takes out a boy and smacks it into the face of the other person. There is no internet connection. No inter <laughs> this is what happens to you as well. So, um, what I learned is that she is passionate. She loves everything she ever does. She never does anything that she doesn't want to do. And I have learned that very, very well. When I thought, oh, let's do this because I would like to do it. One, one would think that you have a child and then you can do whatever you want it to do. No. But there is trust. Her passion is driven by trust because she can climb a mountain. My boss is not here. He made us climb a 300 meter steep incline uh, in, the, uh, in the mountains in Slovakia uh, with the child dangling on me. Love. Everywhere she goes there is love around her. She loves everybody and everybody loves her. I think uh, this just shows one of my favorite pictures ever. And the way uh, people around her start feeling relaxed and feel the love that comes from her. She sits down, <laughs> even in her most beautiful dresses, she sits down, thinks about why doesn't it work, why doesn't it work, I, wanna, I, 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 I can't do it, I can't do it, and then she just puts on her little beautiful hat and she just goes on with it because she's got the drive, she's got the passion. Learning, everything she does is about learning. She learns about the world around her at a place that for me is absolutely unbelievable. All the things that she's learned in the last 20 months is just the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen in my life. Come on, come on! Yes, but do you know what buck is? My daughter is bilingual, so you can guess both in English and in Hungarian what buck is. Yes, it's a ropi. Or uh, sword sticks. <laughs> no, you would never know. I've learned it from her. And since then we call Buck, Buck. Even if it's not Robby or sword stick. Nothing is too easy, nothing is too difficult. In the picture there, she's reading a survey on Shakespeare. And, uh, she started very early, she loves it. Uh, she has some problems with it. First time she went to the, to the television set was with this movement because all she had ever se uh, had seen before was an iPod, so she tried to scroll it. Everything is new, and if I don't understand it, it's my fault. It's never her fault, it's my fault that she doesn't get it, but she goes on with it. She gets on with it very, very uh, determinedly, even with that face. And she's cute even when she is not. Um, everything is done for fun. The most tedious, the most boring thing in the world is still fun. And she does it because she enjoys it. It goes back a little bit to passion. This is where I recap, and it's because I didn't have any other ideas. Um, no, 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 that's not the case. Um, my favorite picture ever. She can even laugh at being sold for 1,040 kilos. Kilo. Uh, it was... Children for 1400 points, that's not bad. She's bad mercy. I paid a bit more than that for She's a traveler. She was born in Dubai. She went to the ITAFO conference in uh, Harrogate two years ago. Uh, she goes through my suitcase every time I get home and she always knows that there is nothing in it for her because I'm a, a useless shopper. Um, she has the most amazing ways of finding her way through uh, drawers and cupboards and uh, she doesn't understand what the problem with having everything on the floor is because she can find it. So what's the problem? She knows where it is. It's on the floor. So what's the problem? 
Well, energy. Um, most of you have probably more children or for a longer time than I do, but the amount of energy she has is just gobsmacking. She is everywhere, all the time, every time. So she will say no, I think. No. Yes. She will say no to people standing at the teacher's protest in front of her. That I want no to the situation of teachers in Hungary, and I join the protest, and everybody should listen to me. I have an opinion, and I'm going to tell you. And that was at the teacher's protest earlier this year in Hungary. Um, Tito. Tito is... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 from former Yugoslavia, no, no, no. Tito is hinta or swing. Uh, everything is a toy. Uh, we went to an exhibition where she found all the cushions and she built her own castle from cushions. Yet again, a nice scene from our bedroom, uh, as my daughter imagines it. Basically, trying to figure out a way of getting into the trousers uh, with the determination of, yes, I can, yes, you can. She's a can-do. So why do you care? You care because in your teaching, that's what you need. Passion and a drive for learning. Everything in your classroom and everything in my classroom needs to be passion-driven. I must love my students and my certain my work as much as I love my child, because that's what it's all about. And the energy I give into it and get out of it is also part of my job. And that's why it's fantastic to be a teacher, and it's fun to be a teacher. <laughs> and it's all going to happen then, because I forgot to put in the last slide. Yeah, this was it. Thank you. Very much.